So now when we are going through our M offset and we hit the 90 threshold, it just stops, right? It's constantly minus 90 and nothing changes. And if we go above uh, 180, we'll immediately jump to minus 180. I, I mean, from this example, it will be minus 180 to 180, which is clamped at 90. So when we are running forward, you can see this, this terrible uh, aim offset switching from side to side constantly. So how to fix that? We use a clamp to a shoulder and depending if our camera is using more of the left shoulder or more of the right shoulder, we should pick proper shoulder. So we are using a right shoulder. So our aim clamp is left. If we hit play now, if we go above uh, 90, minus 90, it's still looking uh, left right now. And if we go even above here, you can see he's still looking left. He haven't looked right. He will look right only when we hit the threshold of 90. So if we go above this 90, he'll look the other way around. And this is better if we have a camera on one of the shoulders, because when we are rotating, the character is trying to look backwards, always from the same shoulder. He's not switching shoulders in me, uh, all the time. So you go, I'm going to show you a neat little trick, how to change locomotion speed on client side that works on multiplayer without changing the actual locomotion speed. So what we have here is um, the axis value, which is between minus one to one on the move forward and the move right, right? So what we want to do is we want to add a new variable, which will be slow walk, for example, and by default it will be false and on uh, a button let's say control so let's say left control pressed with will mean slow walk true and false with and release will mean false so as we are holding the left control we're going to slow walk okay so here when we have uh, scale value, uh, scale value can be above one, uh, but it can be a fraction. So here we're going to do select float based on Boolean value. So if um, slow walk is true, we're picking A, which means we're taking X's value and we are dividing it by two. However, if it's not slow walk, we're taking the axis value directly. And now we are copying this, pasting it here, doing the exact same here, and pushing this here. And I haven't done any changes to the velocity inside the character movement component. The character can still move with the same maximum movement as we did set up previously, which is, I don't even know right now. Um, walk speed 600 okay so it's 600 right now but uh, we can actually make him move uh, slower than that let's go back here in our locomotion let's say that we know that our maximum speed is 600 and our minimum speed will be uh, well 150 so this is one fourth and this is one fourth. We never go below that. So it should be half of the animation speed of this jog. Okay. So we go here, play. And now if I press control, I'm actually moving slower. If I let go, I start moving faster. So yeah, and I am still moving a lot faster diagonally than I move um, in one direction because of how vectors are being added. But that's a absolutely separate uh, story, honestly. You have to make different calculations for that. So yeah, it's this. 
so those animations scale based on your velocity right now and they stop and jump okay so you can go back here and say go back here we got this pose we got this pose and let's actually change those poses and let's do a safe cache pose and let's call it uh, third person grounded and let's take this animation pack and save saved catch pose and call it anim starter pack grounded uh, and then we can just use saved pose um, by just typing its name so use catched pose and you start to pack grounded and now if we compile you'll see that this execution goes here and from here it goes actually here so this is okay and this is and this is jumping and this is um, montage aim offset final okay and this is our new graph so let's add proper aim offset to the entire character so to do that i have to do one really boring thing uh, because here you have aim space iron side and aim space hip and they are just single animation that contains all the frames for all the aim offsets that you have in here and you can do one of two things you can make uh, separate animations from each of those poses but that's actually uh, super boring and you have to do it twice and then you have to do an additive aim offset if an animation has already set up an aim offset use it of course uh, but if it doesn't then I don't really see the point of doing that so we're going to make an aim offset that is procedural so what we're going to do is make a new animation graph And this is an animation blueprint for our mannequin and it's just an anim instance. So we don't change anything. ABP aim offset. And this aim offset will just use modify bone. And it will have one variable which is aim offset, which is a vector to D. Vector to D. Okay, and the same offset has x-axis and y-axis, we're going to split those and we need three of those and we're going to say that translation ignore and don't expose, uh, scale ignore and don't expose and rotation it's not ignore, it's add to existing and it's in component space. So the 0, 0, 0 of the component space is the root of the component. And when it comes down to rotation, it's the entire mannequin rotation. So it's uh, X forward and Z up. Okay, compile save and we need three bones. So spine one, spine two, and spine three. Okay, and then we connect those, connect them together with each other. And then we need one more thing which is input pose come on uh, input pose and input pose means that if this is being used as a subgraph we will have an input pose so we just connect this here and for our rotation split 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 so we need our pitch to be our y and our yo is our x however when it comes down to rotation of bones i'm pretty sure that the y will have to be multiplied by minus one but we're going to see in a second so this anim graph it has one variable but as you notice we haven't touched the even graph at all and we don't have to 
we are ignoring the uh, this one and we're going to say linked anim graph and we're going to say abp aim offset and now we have this in post exposed and in instead of this lookout we're going to connect this one here and this one here directly and just add it to this and we're going to expose this variable which is aim offset and you guessed it we need aim offset so the final aim offset variable is going to be pushed here okay so we're now pushing the same offset and let's go back to our example map and let's see so okay this doesn't work well <laughs> okay i think i know why let's go back here let's go back here and into anim graph we need to uh, divide it by three so the x goes where is it goes to the yo okay it's here here and here and this will be divided by three as well but it doesn't go into pitch as we would think because this is a uh, bone space rotation so actually roll is the one that we need and because this is bone space rotation we can also go here bones uh, selected in parent head and yeah we don't see it here let's go to our skeleton let's click any of those click w okay so this is forward so z and okay so this is z and this is x so x is roll so this should be minus three let's see now yep up and down left and right okay however now we should clamp the aim offset a bit better than 135 because he looks like a monster when he's looking at that rotation so let's go back to our character let's go into any master and let's say that our clamp of aim clamp is 90 and now we have look and nearest so i can now explain what this nearest left and right do so let's go to our example so now when we are going through our M offset and we hit the 90 threshold, it just stops, right? It's constantly minus 90 and nothing changes. And if we go above uh, 180, we'll immediately jump to minus 180. I, I mean, from this example, it will be minus 180 to 180, which is clamped at 90. So when we are running forward, you can see this, this terrible uh, aim offset switching from side to side constantly so how to fix that we use a clamp to a shoulder and depending if our camera is using more of the left shoulder or more of the right shoulder we should pick proper shoulder so we are using a right shoulder so our aim clamp is left if we hit play now if we go above uh, 90 minus 90 it's still looking uh, left right now and if we go even above here you can see he's still looking left he haven't looked right he will look right only when we hit the threshold of 90 so if we go above this 90 he'll look the other way around and this is better if we have a camera on one of the shoulders because when we are rotating, the character is trying to look backwards, always from the same shoulder. He's not switching shoulders uh, all the time. 